Israel of exaggerating Iranian threat. Vice President Biden says he won't attend Netanyahu's Congress speech. Jordanian Air Force bombs Islamic State targets. And Likud defends against allegations in new campaign video. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are your headlines for Sunday, February 8th. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif spoke out at the Munich Security Conference on Sunday, where he met with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry to discuss progress of the nuclear talks. He said that Israel is using Iran as an excuse. They cannot create a smokescreen to hide their atrocities against the Palestinian people, their continued violations of Palestinian human rights, their continued acts of aggression against Palestinian and Lebanese and Jordanian and Syrian people, uh, under the guise of a hypothetical uh, Iranian threat, which is more hype than anything else. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke out against the nuclear agreement during his cabinet meeting on Sunday. Vice President Joe Biden will not attend Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's speech before a joint session of Congress next month, he announced on Friday. In a statement released by aides to Biden, who as president of the Senate is usually in his seat whenever a foreign leader addresses the legislature, said that he will be traveling abroad during the speech. Biden and U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry spoke briefly on Saturday in the hallway of the Munich Security Conference with Zionist Union Party head Isaac Herzog, who is Netanyahu's chief political rival in the March 17th elections, causing the Israeli media and politicians within Herzog's party to make out that his brief interaction showed that he, not Netanyahu, had the ear of the White House. Jordan has carried out a third straight day, straight day of airstrikes on Islamic State targets in response to the group's killing of a captive Jordanian pilot. Jordan has conducted at least 60 air raids over the past three days, mainly on targets in Islamic State-controlled territory in Syria, but also on several in Iraq. They hit targets including ammunition depots, training camps, and a communications tower. On Friday, the Islamic State said that an American woman it was holding hostage was killed after a Jordanian airstrike hit a building where she was being held. The U.S. said that they cannot confirm the woman, identified as 26-year-old aid worker and Arizona native Kayla Mueller, has been killed. She was taken hostage in Syria in August 2013. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu released a new campaign video over the weekend defending himself against allegations of misconduct. Mr. President, Israel is acting to defend its security. And that's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more headlines. For now, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studio.